Food is nourishment, energy, and medicine. It's also a source of pleasure and enjoyment, and cooking is my favorite way of being creative. It's part of everyday life, and it's taken me a while to figure out what works for my body. Since I couldn't digest gluten, I never had it. I've mentioned before that I feel this was a privilege because I ate a bit healthier as a consequence of this. As most kids, I loved sugar and ice cream, but my mom wouldn't let us have it in the house. She read about sugar being unhealthy, which back then was not as widely known as it is now. I always loved food and experimented with my diet and recipes. This is why at 25 I became vegetarian. There was a widespread panic because of the mad cow disease outbreak in the mid-90s. So a lot of people avoided meat because of this. So I was only vegetarian for a year. Back then I still had sugar. I loved Ben and Jerry's and I had it often. I had oatmeal for breakfast every morning. Then when I was about 40, I first heard about the paleo diet from a friend. I quit sugar, which is still a struggle that I deal with to this day. I would definitely call it my weak spot. I also quit most carbs back then. In the past two years, I've gone more towards a carnivore diet. I noticed such a difference in my energy levels and mood. Finding what works for you is a fascinating journey. I love to learn every day. You can learn more about my story in my book, Hunger for Change Beyond the Paleo Diet.